Welcome back, Bobcats. I'm here with a very special co-host tonight. We have Mo. Mo, hi. say hi. Mo is joining us today. Uh, she's tried out for the team before. Uh, I believe you've... Are you on the club team? I can't remember. Yeah, I'm on the uh, club team Bobcats for as long as the tanks. Awesome. Yeah, so sick. We got a club member here uh, participating in the stream tonight. We also have a little bit of media we're going to run for you here in a minute. Uh, we got the team getting ready back there. We got an early start today, and we're getting that ready. Um, yeah, I'd, I'm not positive uh, <laughs> exactly how we're going to start this thing, but, you know, it's going. We're here in the Ohio Esports Arena, basement of Scripps, room 001. Uh, come join us. Yeah, I think that's uh, most of the rundown for tonight. I have a list of uh, housekeeping here for a time when we have a moment, but you know, the team's getting ready back there. And Mo, are you excited? Of course I'm excited. I have a perfect attendance all year, so hopefully everyone does. Yes, I think a couple of or a couple of you guys do. I've missed one, I think. I can't remember. but And then we all missed a spring break match. Uh, I believe they did no, end I up winning that. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't come in for that, no. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, so... Um, we're waiting to load in here. It looks like the map will be Elios today. Uh, so Mo, you're a tank player. Elios. What do you play on Elios? What's your go-to? Uh, well, my go-to isn't a good strategy. Uh, going to Ryan for everything is probably the last thing anyone would ever recommend. But I need a fist bump yeah. right now. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, it is the best thing. Um, you know, it's fun on Elios. It's, you can swing a hammer. Enough corridors to kind of keep people mm -hmm. together, but... Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, is what it is. I mean, if you uh, want the environmental kills, though, you're going to probably want to run, like, Orisa would be good. And if Hog is the go-to for a lot of people for fun. Yeah, certainly. And, uh, you know, we have a couple fun team members back there. We've seen Crazy Man G run Hog, Wrecking Ball. Um, Doom. Yes, Doom. Like, this is his hate. Uh, this is his map for, I was going to say heyday. It's not quite a heyday. I'm not positive what word to use there, you know? This is... Uh, this is the benefit of being me. But of course, we don't have Crazy Man G in person today. Uh, he is sick. He's in the room. He will be playing. Oh, no, that looks like him to me. It, it's pretty close. It does resemble him a lot. I mean, the glasses, you know, Winston. Um, both crazy off the wall people. Uh, <laughs> I hope he's watching this. I really do. Um, and then, of course, we also have this right here. We have our wonderful people up over at PNC uh, sponsoring us. Uh, thank you guys so much for supporting everything we do here. And, you know, uh, now that we have this, I've had to look at my student PNC account a lot more. Um, I'm going to be honest, I didn't know half the things it offered until I actually started looking at it. It offers a lot. So uh, go ahead and check out, I believe it's pnc.com slash student. And if it's not, just search up PNC student on Google and it's first result. It's great. Um, yeah, I think that's about most of the rundown for the club stuff today. Um, we do have a little bit of housekeeping. I don't know if you follow the COD team at all, Mo, do you? One day I will. Yes, that's about how I feel. <laughs> I know we'll support great. them eventually. <laughs> all right. Um, no, I love them. They're, those are great guys. Um, they won a LAN in Knoxville. Two of the teammates uh, went and participated. Uh, they won. There's a highlight video that I believe uh, Ohio at Ohio COD on Twitter retweeted. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's great. Um, also, the Overwatch teams are entering in the uh, Blizzard Collegiate Tournament starting this weekend. I believe, Mo, you're part of... Yep. Yeah. Yeah. This is <laughs> going to be a fun thing. So, uh, you know, uh, every team's participating. It'll be fun. Uh, I believe for the last Collegiate Tournament, two teams participated. And now I believe we have three, maybe four participated. I'm not positive, but, you know... It'll be fun to watch. Um, we will also, uh, just a quick, this is a kind of important thing. Akron. We were supposed to play Akron this Thursday. We will not be playing Akron this Thursday. It is pushed back to next week. Um, so next Thursday, Akron in, well, well, I mean, I guess it's kind of in Ohio Esports Arena, kind of. There's half half of the game is here, I guess. What In Esports, would you consider like a home... What's a, what, do you, what would be a home game? I don't, I don't know. Like, is every game a home game? Because you're always playing. I think so, right? Unless it's a LAN. I don't know. A I don't LAN, know. I don't think everything's home turf. I mean, like <laughs> I've never thought of this before. <laughs> okay. All right. We're, uh, we're going to get into the game now. It's almost time to start. 
yeah, so of course we do see LeBron James sitting there on the mercy. This is kind of an interesting, interesting. pick. We don't often get to see a lot of the fun and stuff come out from. Okay. Expected. Yeah. All right. All right. LeBron, come on. We're expecting more. <laughs> We're running the Moira, which is interesting since she's recently been like pushed into meta. But the previous yeah, so wasn't really a pick at all. Like we're not seeing the character that they used to run constantly. Yeah, I would certainly agree with that. And uh, Dexter Pittman, of course, has a very large hero pool and has been able to flex onto a lot of different things. But it doesn't matter. Crazy and G just running up into the into the back line of Buffalo and just kind of takes out what they who they need to take out. And everybody else just has to retreat. And uh, oh, he's going to get this first cap pretty handily. Yeah, we're seeing already with the retail patch that was rolling back some of the buffs for uh, MAGA and Sim, they're still very much in meta, like that is not enough to get them uh, out of play. Yeah, certainly. I know I played a couple comp matches earlier and I definitely saw a lot of Sim. I don't quite like seeing that, but you know, on <laughs> when you're watching higher level players uh, do it, it's a lot more fun to watch. So yeah. uh, we do see kind of Fresco taking a very nice defensive angle here as McCree or uh, Cassidy kind of taking a similar angle to uh, Pine in that kind of famous play. Uh, we'll see if he can get something along those lines. Of course, Buffalo running a, w or, yeah, Buffalo running a Winston here. Certainly an interesting approach, especially on this map. Kind of got to dive onto OU, and OU is very mobile comp. Uh, we'll see how it shakes out for them. Of course, Crazy Man G does just jump on top of like three guys right there, and uh, Mudkip does end up getting Fresco, and Crazy Man G is still kind of in the middle of it and just trying to get. Yeah, there's as the tank down. Yeah, certainly. And Akusora, yeah, of course, getting that last little bit of damage needed. And the Kuriko is out of the fight as well, and it looks like enough of Buffalo is out that they are going to retreat or kind of just. Maybe they're still going to contest this, actually. Uh, Fresco and Akusora do end up getting the two kills needed to end that fight. I can hear the hype back there. Akusora kind of popping off right there at the end, getting those three kills that were necessary. Yeah, getting to see his sim gameplay is always a treat. Yeah, it's a fun hero to watch, and uh, we're glad to see him play that. But, of course, Fresco sitting here kind of just waiting, kind of taking this nice little, uh, taking this nice and slow. He's got that uh, dead eye, and he's going to hopefully uh, kind of stay behind this wall and maybe catch a couple players out. He does almost get that Lucio there, but it is not enough, and LeBron James has to escape the Sojourn, of course, trying his uh, best to end up eliminating him, but it doesn't do enough. LeBron trying to get off point, or uh, out of the kind of centralized uh, panic there. Almost does so. Here's Man G getting two. LeBron having to drop that keep the rest of that team alive. Akusora does end up getting... Uh, oh, I'm... Oh, I wrote... I, I, not I don't want to try. I don't want to try. Um, yeah, we see you sitting on... They're sitting on a lot of ults at the end there. Just yeah. Just to dump them. Never had to. There, yeah, there was not like a point when they even needed to. I, you saw the ults come out from Buffalo throughout, and yep. it just didn't work out for them. And uh, Ohio just was able to kind of do what they needed to do that whole time. And, you know, they got the map win. They got Looks the, like or not the map win, the round win. Round win, yeah. Buffalo's Goodness. changed it up. No, not Buffalo. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's um, Buffalo. the names are on I the was, wrong side. I know. I was, yeah. I was looking at it a second ago. I was, <laughs> it was tripping with me. Uh, I think we, I think we, are, they're gonna work on that in a moment. But yeah. uh, of course, we do have Crazy Man G here on that Junker Queen, and now this is something he certainly does play with. Um, yeah, we got some comp changes on both sides. Uh, well, they, we they spoke too soon. DPS right. run out. Oh, nope, back on the back on the Caster's tester. curse. All but right. But there's the Junkrat. Junkrat, the Doomfist are both. Oh! oh. <laughs> Triple environmental kill. Quadruple. That's a quad. And LeBron gets out of it, uh, riding, uh, riding the wall out of that problem. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, <laughs> you can see the smile from him. I wish we did not have chat hid. Um, I don't know what was said, but I'm sure somebody <laughs> said something there. Uh, you know, uh, we go again. We go again. I th that was a very clear strat, of course, from uh, Buffalo. They knew what Ohio was probably going to do, and Ohio did it. Um, mm -hmm. Is what it is. Uh, it almost worked. Just I so might close. Be I just press <laughs> it's not. It probably will be. <laughs> they're gonna uh, they're gonna have a highlight from that, and it, we're still gonna laugh at it. But uh, you know, it's no, all good. Still, still cap and point. Still cap point. Even yes. so. Uh, Fresco and Crazy Man G, of course, staying on point. And meanwhile, the Doomfist uh, punches off the map. So I don't think uh, it'll be much of a fight here from Buffalo. Of course, only getting 16%. Uh, kind of unlucky to only have that. I believe they ended up not being on point for a minute after they mm -hmm. kind of got that team kill right there. 
Uh, Riding the high a little too much. Yeah, I, th I think so. I think there was a little too much typing in chat and maybe not enough standing on point. Um, they'll figure it out, though. Uh, Fresco, of course, taking this nice little position again. Just kind of sneaking around. He's taking these kind of common... Uh, high level uh, Cassidy positions and he's doing pretty well with them just getting enough damage out and that's all he needs to do and he's doing a great job been, of it he's been practicing. yeah uh, you can definitely see that mm -hmm. that's one of those heroes that I think we've seen him grow the most on the be er, uh, beginning of the year he was kind of unsure of his positioning with it um, you could tell but he was very confident in his uh, abilities with aim and uh, it usually was enough to compensate for any wrong that he was doing, but now it's there's no wrong. It's all perfect, and it's great to watch. Oh, he does not need the ego boost. Let's be careful. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm giving him a little bit of one. I, I think it's uh, safe to do. Yeah, look at but that victory crouch. <laughs> yeah, a nice little victory crouch there. Of course, uh, I believe that was Akusora getting the two right there. Of course, we always like seeing Akusora on Echo. Um, any of those flying heroes, he's always amazing at. Just amazing at confusing enemies and just, you know hanging around. I, I like to see him play Farah as well, and, you know, both of them he does great with, and it does look like LeBron James is taking a pretty offensive position right there, unable to get anything out of it, uh, and now he's just going to come back to the Halga, and he might be able to keep them alive. It's going to be a little bit of a prob uh, problem here. Crazy we Man G does end up getting... Tank, yep. Yeah, enough. He holds him in, and it's just enough. Akusora getting one as well. He's on the soldier, a hero of choice for him. Unable to get much more, not able to get that ultimate, but, you know, he does get enough damage in, and Crazy Man G and LeBron James both get one each, and it is enough for Ohio to capture the map. Elios falls the way of Ohio. What would you say to that, Mo? Uh, I just started off pretty fantastic with a, for a lesser team, perhaps a morale-crushing quadruple environmental kill, but they rebounded so quickly that... Uh. Yeah, it was... Uh, it's very... Oh, of course, oh. we do get to see... Uh, <laughs> on our screens, we saw the play of the game right there, and it definitely was that Doomfist kill, uh, or Doomfist punch, I guess, ended up with more. Um, not positive if we're going to take a break here, but, you know, Mo... You're on the club's te uh, the club team. How much do you like it? Do you like the club teams here at Bobcat Esports? Oh, I think they're fantastic, and there's like a, a lot of ambitious changes that have been kind of going on with the way the club teams work as of this semester and last semester compared to last year when it was still kind of still kind of running with prototypes. But it's nice to see all the teams getting involved in collegiate now. Yeah, of course. If you're not, you should try and join. Um, I would schedule doesn't allow it. Love you guys, but. <laughs> <laughs> Schedule doesn't. Um, you know, um, I do think we see an update from the Crazy Man G Cam. I think uh, we might need to take that one. I, I, that's. Oh my goodness! I think he went to celebrate with the team. <laughs> you know, he's off screen for a moment. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. So, do have a little bit more housekeeping here to finish up from the beginning. If you're not already in the Discord. Join the Discord. Um, of course, you know, don't don't take a peek at Trinity just, uh, you know, fixing the Crazy Man G-Cam. Nothing, nothing to see there. We love Trinity. Uh, she's great. Anyway, uh, join the Discord. Uh, if you want to know anything Bobcat Esports, it's the easiest place to go. Uh, we have codes for our uh, QR codes to get into the Discord in the arena. It should be on the uh, Twitch in some way. It should be pinned in the chat or in the description. Not positive. It might be outdated, but we're trying to fix it. Um, and then if you are on Bobcat Connect, it should be there as well. I'm going to be honest. Somebody said Bobcat Connect earlier, and I was not exactly sure what they mean. So go figure out what that is, and it's probably pretty cool. <laughs> Do you know what it is? Uh, yeah, it's oh, just please. like a, <laughs> the platform for extracurriculars and clubs. So anytime you want to join a club or a curricular, that's the place to go and check. They'll post like their meeting schedule. That's, and all that. yeah. that's good stuff. Because <laughs> that's more than I do. Okay. Well, they're strapping him down. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, not get I, anymore. I, I think this might be the best crazy man she can we've ever seen. <laughs> anyway, um, let's tape him to the chair next time. Anyway, um, <laughs> I, I, um, you know, I was gonna say the rest of the housekeeping. Uh, we're just gonna wait. I think I think they're getting ready to load into King's Row as the second map. You oh, know, goodness. we didn't pick that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, we did not pick that. But you know. Out of all things, Kings Row has started to look better for OU this year. Um, oh, for sure. Of course, last year, I'm going to be honest, um, 
in retrospect, I think losing every week on King's Row while demoralizing <laughs> is also hilarious. I um, called it King's it, Row curse. Yeah, it was it was bad. It got got rough, but you know, it's there's gotten been some better. Wins this, yeah, there's been some wins this year on it. There's been more wins than losses, which yeah. I think is actually a lot better than last year. And you know, and some crazy plays. Especially yes, on, like, the last point. It's always the last point. I think that they have had probably some of the biggest plays this season on uh, on it. So yeah, you know. Um, always nice to see and you know we do have a wonderful crazy man G I didn't realize that they were taking his player cam as that throughout the whole game uh, that is hilarious uh, big props to production back there for thinking of that it's always nice to see crazy man G in the in live and in the flesh you know um, we got some weird guys showing up instead of them I don't know Nice to see him, like, here in person. <laughs> We're going to have the Lucio Funko Pop glued to Nick's chair next <laughs> week. <laughs> All right. Well, we're seeing another tank swap here running out Zarya instead of what they picked before, but we're staying strong to the Mauga. Yeah, certainly. And, you know, Mauga, again, it's one of those things Crazy Man G has always been interested in. He's wanted uh, this hero to be in the game for a while. He's He knew it was going to be fun for him, and, well, well we I mean, really it wasn't that. Him, yeah, yeah they, he did end up kind of getting lasered down there, but it is, uh, OU does he get enough out three. of it. To kind of stay alive, LeBron James getting two, Dexter Pittman getting one, supports are carrying here. LeBron James just running away from everything. I heard him screaming behind me. Um, okay. Yeah, we're down to a 2v2, just the Lucio's alive and then the Mora versus the Reaper. Yeah, this is honestly doable for Ohio. Of course, the Reaper they was the very low. LeBron is ooh, so low, he's got to stay alive. Dexter Pittman does end up getting the healing orb out, and it might be enough to keep everyone alive. And it does hold off wow. Buffalo. The rest of the Ohio side has recovered back to point. Buffalo being relegated to kind of that gate once more. And Dexter Pittman does get Rosary right there. I think that that was possibly a play of the season for OU. I know we were talking about it on this map, but that was another one right there. Just two on two. The support's doing enough. They ended up getting, I think, oh, well, okay. They were seeing some ults coming out, and they're here. That, that Blossom took out Akasura. But we got, so we got two picks on them, so... Oh. There's another. Let's press go down. Yeah, certainly. And Rosary and uh, I, I'm gonna say ro Rosary. I wrote. Okay, I'm gonna give up. Uh, Junkrat <laughs> did end up <laughs> getting a kill there, and that's gonna kind of slow down Ohio a little bit. They will get to contest here, but it's gonna be rough for them to actually get back to point, especially with this forward spawn for Buffalo. Uh, we will see if they're able to contest this. Fresco getting one healer out right here. If they can get this Lucio, they might be able to siege it. If not, no, it doesn't look like we'll be able to in time. Akusort does end up getting one more pick out of there, but it is not enough for them to contest this point. Buffalo will now be moving the payload through King's Rose Point B and C. We are seeing, uh, we did sit on a lot of the ults. The support ults came out for both sides, but we've got, we're running with tank and both DPS ults, and they've just got the junk rat. Yeah, certainly. And, you know, like, I like when Ohio runs into fights with ultimate advantage. Uh, it leaves a little bit more room for error, and it leaves a little bit more room for just absolute steamroll. So, you know, like, We'll see how it goes here. Of course, a lot of players firing into that high ground right there. The Lucio standing up there with, I believe, the Junkrat. I'm not positive. I have bad eyes. Um, yeah, we're seeing the we tire come out, but as usual, Fresco's able to knock that down pretty quick. Pop his ult for it with the cage. Fra Fresco, uh, fr Fresco. Fresco. Fresco does end up using his ult there, and it looks like enough of the team was ready for that right there. A couple ults used, but the rest of Buffalo down. It doesn't end up mattering. And, of course, a couple of the Ohio players are having a little bit of fun with LeBron James there, of course, emoting on him while he's stuck in the trap. Always nice to see. The only way to treat your teammates. Brotherly love. Brotherly love. All right. <laughs> they came out of that still with Simwall. Yeah, they did uh, keep yeah. a. They kept enough utility there. Of course, the healing ults will be coming in after this fight, or maybe during. Um, so we'll certainly help out Ohio, kind of on this offensive right here. I believe they do know the positioning that Buffalo is trying to take, and they're already on yeah, it. That was a good um, response setting up already. Yeah, but I I'm gonna be honest. I don't like this from Buffalo. They don't have many ults to use here. Uh, they will have uh, Reaper. Death Blossom, but I don't know if that's going to be enough. It was effective last time, and I'm guessing they're sitting on the bubbles for it, but that's a lot to pull hold. Yeah, but they with. forgot they did, the payload they here. The rush, but the rush is all the way back away from the cart, so it didn't really do much for them. Yeah, not enough, and LeBron James does have to use his ult to keep everyone alive, and they will have some spawns here in a second, but it's not going to be enough. Most of Buffalo kind of being low. Trap oh, again, LeBron James. LeBron James and again survives. But LeBron James, yeah, lives somehow with a Junkrat standing right in front of him. He misses <laughs> three, uh, I believe, a mine and also a 
projectile and just it's not enough to down LeBron James there. Um, that's my goat for real. Um, <laughs> shooting three for we'll say three for three right now. He's doing pretty good. Um, you know, Buffalo right on that point right there, kind of waiting to kind of push this corner. They don't. Uh, they do have some ultimates, but uh, you know, OU doesn't have any, and I don't think they quite know that. But they'll be finding that out in a moment. OU trying to take this kind of aggressive hold right at the front right here, not letting them get any distance at all. They do not want to deal with this Zarya later in the fight. Dexter Pittman yeah, getting one again. Out. We do see a tire though, and Akusora does go down. Crazy Man G does get Mudkip though, as in retaliation, it might be enough for Buffalo to. Kind of push a little bit, but it is, uh, never mind. I, yep, they held olds too long and uh, it didn't really get out anything effective. I completely flubbed every call there that I tried. Uh, <laughs> apologies. Anyway, Ohio won. <laughs> Yeah, and so they will be continuing to take this kind of corner right here. Just kind of make sure that they can hold uh, Buffalo back. Not take a super aggressive position. Just make sure, wait for respawns, keep a little pressure applied, build up some alts. They do have Crazy Man G and Fresco alt. Or, uh, sorry. Uh, they do have Malga alt and uh, also uh, Sim alt. Doesn't look like it'll be we enough, though. Come out, cool, come out. It looks oh, like every on, utility no. that could have been used on the side of Buffalo that was important was used right there. Just With the exception of uh, Rush. Oh, yeah, yeah. with the exception of Rush. But it was enough for Buffalo to keep themselves alive. Ohio to just get kind of... Yeah, I don't... I don't quite know how to describe that right there. They just kind of uh, got held on top of point, and it just wasn't pretty, uh, is what it is. Bron James speed boosting the team back. It's not much of an issue. Uh... Of course, we do see Kitsune Rush come out, but Wall in retaliation from the side of Ohio. And we also see Fresco using his ultimate right here, and this will be important. He does end up getting Godspeed kill There's and does also get Mudkip. Ohio holds right here. They get the two most important members of the side of Buffalo, and it looks like the rest will come easy. But we do hear a tire. Got a desperate tire coming out, yep. Um. Found it. There it is. See Fresco again with the tire kill. He's been good at that. That was interesting. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was good between a touch and a tire. They picked the tire. I, I, he picked the tire. All right. Uh, junk rats usually do. Yes. I mean, if you're a junk rat, man, come on. What else are you going to do? I played junk rat. Don't worry. Like, <laughs> Xbox junk rat. Those were the days. Anyway. Um, <laughs> you see the team right there, of course. All of them enjoying themselves. Uh, come on. Talking it over. Uh, making sure they have all the right plans together. You know. Gotta have everything. Uh... Yeah, I don't. I don't know what I was gonna go for there. Um... <laughs> Happy with their hold, maybe that's a pretty good hold for. Uh, I yeah. Kings are pretty in the air whether or not it's a full cap on the first point. You get OT a lot, so it's nice to not see that. Yeah, they did do a good job on that hold right there, and we will see how this next attack goes. Of course, it looks like. Oh no. Okay. Um... Gonna, we'll see if they swap or not. Uh... I wouldn't be shocked to see something fun here. Um, you know, Crazy Man G, uh, LeBron James. There's there's chemistry there. They've been, both been on the team for a little while, uh, as you can see. Um, yeah. I mean, I know Crazy Man G's been on top of the PC for every game this season, usually. Um, and I think he's been on cam every time. But now he's sitting in the chair. So, like, you know, this sitting, is uh, getting real. We well, call he's taped sitting? to the chair. Um <laughs> You know, next week we're going to have to tape him to the chair just so we can, like, keep continuity. Um, is what it is. Akusora attempting a nice Widow pick. Oh, they were ready for that. That's an interesting use of life grip, oh, honestly. Yeah. Kind of smart. Um, they did just, run with the life weaver just for an attempt at an early Widow pick, but they didn't get it. Yeah, that's uh, a nice nice little play right there. Attempt uh, is what it is. Crazy Man G, of course, now Symmetra, and they're able to kind of siege this right here. Rosary easily gets Fresco, though. That's not going to be the best for OU. Yeah, they might just pull back. Yeah, they were not outcome. expecting that Zen right there for sure. Um, that is a swap. Yeah, looks like yeah we will see a swap there. Um, Still running the Zarya um, Reaper combo, and it's interesting seeing them having running the Kiriko because uh, again she's kind of out of meta haven't seen her as much in the, in the league as usual yeah I, I do think it's kind of a, an interesting thing for Kings Row though a lot of those corridors you can just easily buff your whole team with that mm -hmm. and I think if uh, the other team's not running it I think too. yeah exactly good rush placements you have a lot of just wiggle room as Kiriko on this map 
Um, I wouldn't say on first point, but maybe you have ultimate for second point and then it's a little bit more effective. Uh, we do see Mudkip get the kill onto Akusora fairly early into this fight. That's not going to help the gonna side of enough, Ohio. Though, yeah. yeah, not enough. Fresco does end up getting uh, JCV stealth and he's going to continue. He's continuing to just unload damage into this whole side of uh, Buffalo. They don't end up getting enough damage though. Crazy Man G and Dexter Pittman also getting got right or uh, <laughs> getting <laughs> getting kills there. Whoops. Uh, Crazy Man G also attempting to get one more, and he does. He ends up getting Rosary right there, and Akusora with the switch onto the Sombra ends up finishing off Godspeed Killa. I I will say that's the name. Uh, and now just kind of. Picking some aggressive angles, just putting a little bit of damage in a Sombra, just doing enough, just a little bit of poke damage, a little bit of hacking here and there. We'll and see how Buffalo it goes. Buffalo ran off the hope with those support ults and with those down and tire down. Like they, they're only running with the Reaper ult. Oh, this is interesting. Ooh, early hack on the on the Zen, taking him out way early, long before the fight. We'll that see if he gets was. The kill too. I I don't know if he will, but you know he's gonna certainly apply aggression right oh, here, and he have does. Faith, have faith in him. You hear the Reaper ult go out, but nothing came of it. Yeah, of course. Uh, Akusora going up against a uh, <laughs> Junkrat and a Zenyatta, both <laughs> one on one, but he does enough, and Crazy Man G ends up getting two as well. It just doesn't work out for Buffalo right here on this hold. Everything that like I said about uh, Kiriko went out hey, the window. <laughs> but yeah. Looks like they're switching to Sombra as well. They're trying to learn from his example. Oh, yeah. They're, uh, you know, like. Uh, I was about to say like father like son, but that's a little too disrespectful. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Why'd you say it? <laughs> I, I was thinking it, and it was kind of funny. Anyway, um, <laughs> we'll, we'll continue. Uh, Akusora taking this high ground right here. And he does have EMP and he does immediately use it. And he gets the hack off onto that Zarya as well. And it just does enough damage just for everybody to be able to focus her. No issue whatsoever. Ohio taking King's Row very quickly. Only a couple minutes. It is. Sorry, uh, opinions. I say, I, of course, I step back from Mike. <laughs> yeah, opinions. Uh, I think it's interesting seeing the Sombra come out because again, there was that retail patch rolling back on some of the buffs. Sombra he previously had an EMP buff, and they said, "Never mind, that was a terrible idea." But still, we're seeing uh, a ton of utility come out of her. Yeah, certainly, seeing a, lo a lot of fun things come out from both teams here. It looks like we might have a break here. Not positive, but you know, we got a nice little view of that team right there. Of course, the coach is walking around doing the darn thing. Yeah, and it looks like we might have a sub here, possibly. Who knows? Yeah. Um, 2 0 so far. I'm pretty convincing 2 0, I would say. Um, I honestly, I don't know what to say. It's been it's been pretty fun. Uh, this is uh, this is a good team to watch, especially when they're winning, um, and they're winning right now, and they're doing a good job of it. So, uh, you know, like I love seeing like the the kind of fun stuff come out from Akusora Fresco, also on uh, Echo, like things like that. Always fun to watch, um, and you know, like they even try some of the fun strategies every so often, and like we like seeing those, and like. Last week we saw quite uh, them run quite a few of them. This week, or uh, sorry, two weeks ago we saw them run quite a few of them. Uh, last week during uh, spring break, I don't believe they ran many. Um, but you know, like they did pull out the Moira though. They did pull out Moira. They yeah, now that's now true. Now pretty solidly committing her. Yeah, but with water in the game, it looks like we'll probably be going to Curico. I believe he's Curico, Baptiste, or Lucio, possibly. I'm not positive, but uh, you know. Always nice to see that uh, veteran face right there. Of course, was on the team last year. Uh, played a couple games so far this year. And, you know, it's always nice to see him get his due. And then, you know, we also have to talk about our GOAT. For real. No! Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we just watched horror. He made me cry. <laughs> he got nervous. Just so you guys know, we have our camera for Crazy Man G on the screen in front of us. And he just fell off. And it's okay. Nick He's fine. And now... <laughs> That's my goat for real. Uh, LeBron James uh, helping fix the problem right there. Supporting um, his tank as he should. Yeah. Oh! My <laughs> that, that, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hulk smash monkey slam? I'm not sure. Um. <laughs> Is this why he's getting switched out for support? It doesn't seem very supportive. I'm, I'm so happy that was visible in the bottom. <laughs> Ooh, I don't think I've laughed this hard at a game in a while. Um, there's just been a lot. Um, 
you know, um, you know, this is your first time casting as well, I believe, right? Very eventful, yes. yes. Okay, you know, like, I think you've been doing good so far. How do you think you've done Thank so far? You. Well, we got time. Uh, I'd have to roll it back. I have no memory of the past five minutes. Don't worry, I've yeah. rolled back one tape, and then I listen to other people's advice. So I, I hate hearing myself talk. Um, does look like everybody's getting ready now. The crazy man G uh, is getting taped to the chair once again. Um, you know, they're getting ready. They're getting ready. They're doing the things they need to do to win at Overwatch. Uh, also, game starting. As you can see, they are all still standing right there, attempting New to Jack tape City. them back to the chair. <laughs> you know, it's Overwatch. It's it's fun. It's a good game. Uh, but you know, we do have a lot of fun things going on in the arena. Um, on Thursday, I believe we have Valorant Ten Mans. Uh, be there. Be square. Uh, of course. As I had Mo talk about a moment ago, the club teams are awesome. If you ever are interested, contact people in the Discord. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I see some of the club team over here. They're happy. Um, yep, you got you know, Rad, you got Rad, you've got, got Storm, and you've got uh, Joey. Joe, I what's his Raw Toast? Raw Go Juice? I, I think it's Raw Toast. Raw Toast. Raw Toast. I'll say it's Raw Toast. You know, like I, I'm not positive on that. I probably shouldn't be as confident as I was, but you know, I'm pretty sure that is. But yeah, we've got. Many people in the Discord that you can contact, uh, Storm, Rad, believe Raw Toast, if not Burnt Toast, maybe Grilled Cheese Toast, I'm not positive. Something with Toast, it's another person you should contact. Five. <laughs> He's got, We're he got a couple of usernames. <laughs> we, I get them got all the, mixed up. They're always raw, though. We've got the usernames being passed back and forth, trying to figure them out. But anyway, we got a game at hand right now. Interesting support picks. We're starting off with a Water Lucio, which has been, I, I know they've been running that in practice a lot. This is interesting. Uh, we do see LeBron James. I'm more interested in LeBron. Uh, coming out. That's what I'm looking at is the Alari. Yeah, that's certainly an interesting support pick. Uh, I, I do know LeBron James has been enjoying Alari picks recently. And, you know, like, it is one of those things. Um, just a fun hero to play, especially when it works. Ooh, good uh, pick. Akasura, almost. Pick <laughs> Akasura, uh, but we, we see Alari go down early and her turret. Yeah, we do see Akusora almost get caught in the mines of that Junkrat he killed, but he does just barely escape. Akusora also getting Mudkip right there, and you know, it looks like kind of a slaughter immediately from on the oh, side yeah. of Ohio. Uh, Akusora doing most of the work there, but Fresco putting enough damage in as well, and you know, you got the Lucio bouncing around a little bit, just putting damage in where he can, but healing up the rest of the team, and you know, Ohio already got 10 seconds cap, you know? This is pretty good so far. Yeah, we know the Akusora Tracer on a Flashpoint map is, is you know, a sight to behold. Yeah, I would certainly say so. Uh, just ever, I think every flashpoint so far, he has definitely oh, played uh, Tracer. Yeah, he's. Oh, he is. Now we did see him on the Sombra earlier. Attempt to get those kills behind. It will be interesting to see if he tries to do that again. Fresco also switching to Echo right there. Oh, big pick on the Sombra. Uh, Alari goes out of out of fight again. Uh, we got both supports down, but it looks like looks like uh, OU is still gonna pull through. Yep. Yeah, and Crazy Man G gets the three with Roadhog right there. Ah, uh, uh, there's the quad. There's the quad. <laughs> Never mind. Gets the four. Okay. Um, you know, does enough right there. Uh, just kind of everybody threw themselves at him, and it didn't quite work. Um, at least out for the other team. Uh, you know. Evil Empire. I'm not exactly sure what that uh, attempted jump was, but it was right over top of the Roadhog that was just oh, finished he gets, reloading. Oh, barely gets out with the Meteor Strike. Yeah, we do see that Meteor Strike go down, but he's also half health already, and a lot of uh, side of Buffalo is already pretty low, and we do see the Moira ult come out, and Akusora's only job right now is to just stall that ult out, and he did enough of it. There was oh, only about... Three seconds of that ult that actually got wasted. Uh, of course, Fresco does lose his ult. He uses it on Tracer, but he does end up getting the kill. Doesn't quite uh, completely go for a loss. JVC Stealth does end up getting Crazy Man G, though, but it does not quite matter when you have the whole support line just jumping on top of everyone else. LeBron, James, and Water both getting... Uh, I thought they both got two. Whoopsies. Uh, <laughs> you know, the support line has been doing the work for Ohio tonight on both all maps so far. Of course... Uh, Right there, we got to see a lot of it from Water, just kind of jumping in, speed boosting the Alari, making sure she stayed alive as well. You know, does enough, and now they're on to the next point, and they're boosting right on their way. I will never understand how a Lucio player knows every wall that they can jump on at every bounce, and I'm sitting there watching Aiden just, or uh, sorry, uh, Water make every jump he can. 
always impressive. Uh, we do see the hook come out, and it does end up getting, uh, I believe, an Evil Empire right there, but not enough done from Crazy Man G to actually finish the job right there. But we do see the Doomfist get melted instantly with a hook. Water also getting, uh, water gets the kill, but of course everyone just instant focus. Mudkip does end up getting Fresco, though. Yeah, this is, is, is that so poor before. second melee kill on Fresco we've seen? I think <laughs> so, <Justin's> actually. <laughs> incredibly unlucky, the Sombra has, has it out for him. You know, is what it is. But again, we see LeBron James on this Alari right now, you know, like, it's, it's one of his fun picks. I've seen him play this every so often. Um... He's just always so good at everything he tries, and it's just amazing to watch. Every time there's a new hero released, I always go over to... Their room's just connected to ours, and so we just go on over, and we watch him play for about 20 minutes to figure out if the hero's good or not. He's just doing it with Alari right now, anyway, and we do see the cell, or the sticky come out, and it does end up getting Evil Empire. I gotta Great. say, his sticky bomb rate is truly incredible. It's a wild... It's Pulse Bomb. I realize I said sticky. I was thinking... I, did I don't I know what it. came. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I, uh... Yeah, I cast. Uh, anyway. Um, of course, we do see Fasted Crazy Man G. Uh, ult advantage for you. So yeah, I would four, certainly say so. To about two. Okay. All right, guys. <laughs> that might have been a little overkill right there, but, you know, Evil Empire out of the fight already. Um, not much having to be done right there. Crazy Man G just doing the quick little pull onto that trap. And Akusora just behind, just uh, putting damage in, and if it's enough, it's enough. And Rosary does end up getting LeBron James. I'm sure that's just a little bit of a retribution kill right there. Uh, you know, they'll have time to kind of contest this and stall oh. <laughs> I, yeah, okay. Is that an intentional decision yeah. to recall back onto the map? I don't think so. So a couple players jumped off right there either they're going to switch i kind of doubt they switch though because of the ults uh but i'm pretty sure yeah, that's the farthest flash spawn. point from spawn yeah so it might just be I, I don't know exactly but i'm pretty sure that is the farthest so it might just be easier to just jump off and then just go back to spawn and then just you know really interesting to see though it's a very eager jump into the abyss yeah you know um I was gonna say follow. Never mind. I don't. I don't know what to say there. Anyway, um, Akusora trying to take a couple good points right there. Uh, does end up getting a little bit of damage in, and of course, Water getting a nice little boop on a Godspeed killer. Uh, Fresco also putting in some damage with that uh, Echo transform. It does get the kill. He's 58% of the way to a pulse bomb. He might get it before this fight actually like ends. That was a very fast fight, I'm gonna be honest. I did not pay attention yeah. much, and then it was over. They only popped, um, yeah, they only popped two ults, they popped the fresco copy. Uh, picked Tracer, he's picked Tracer both times. Uh, and then just uh, an ult from Lucio. Yeah, certainly. Um, kind of using what they need to to get everything done here. Um, Crazy Man G, of course, kind of stalling right there, kind of getting JVC stealth just into a bad position. It's all they needed to do, really, and, you know, Ohio's gonna run with this advantage right here. Ooh, it's like we had okay. a bit of a moment between the Lucio's. <laughs> Sadly broken up with the tragedy of war. You know, this is the unfortunate part of not having chat. It, it's always nice. I'm sure that there were a couple of very nice messages exchanged, but, you know, everybody has to come and ruin the fun. Um, Akusora, or Rosemary, does end up getting water right there. And just like on. that... Ohio kind of looks like they're in a worse spot. Rosare also getting Akusora right there. You know, it's all fun and business until you kind of start letting some of the game go like that. But, you know, they will be able to come back to spawn rather fast. And it does look like water might get stuck in a bad survives, position. Uh, yeah, survives. Uh, oh, nope, does not survive. We heard a couple very wonderful calls back yeah, there. there. Sorry if you could heard that on well. Mike. <laughs> Yeah, we do have, of course, LeBron James kind of trying to take this sneaky position. He's waiting for the rest of his team. Does end up getting the ultimate off, and he does look like he will get one. I don't think he was going for more than that, really. Um, it does end up being enough for them to at least have an advantage in this fight, but JVC Stealth and Evil Empire instantly kind of getting two important players right there, LeBron James and Fresco, both going down. They kind of do need that to kind of siege these points. Uh, Akusora also ends up going down. And Crazy Manji. Yeah, so, you know, um, this third point actually might be a wash for the side of Ohio. Uh, never want to see that. Um, that makes know. the game longer, isn't that nice? Uh, I, I guess so, but, you know, like, uh, I think there might have been a little, uh, maybe a little too much horseplay there, but, you know, we're going to continue to see how they approach this. Uh, yeah, they do end up losing that point. It will be 2-1. Um, 
They're going to have to wait for this next point. Thankfully, they have most alts. Um, not going to be much of an issue. They just kind of have to regroup and kind of make sure that they get this last point, or this next point, just kind of locked down early on. And it does look like they will be doing that. There's already a Lucio there, but he's kind of isolated from the rest of the team. They're going to hope for kind of an early pick here, and they might be able to get it. See the Tracer sticking a, putting their sticky in there pretty early in the fight. And get anything. Copy on Doom. Yeah, copy on Doom is certainly going to be an interesting thing here. Of course, Fresco. All the are coming out now. Fresco used to play quite a bit of Doom, I believe, if I remember correctly, and so it's always nice to see that happen again, but JVC Stealth instantly gets two. It's not going to be much of a competition for Ohio right there, and Ohio now has lost all of the ultimates, and Buffalo has won. Turning Listen, the, the tides. The water cam there is interesting. I don't know. The crazy man G is spreading to everyone's perspective. <laughs> I, was, I was looking in the bottom right when you were talking about that. <laughs> Okay, it looks like Crazy Man G might be falling off the chair once more. Um, is what it is. Akusora continuing to kind of... Uh, he's... he's Cassie uh, switch uh, is interesting. Yeah, certainly. Uh, kind of going back to his bread and butter. Uh, he's very confident in that hero. Uh, of course, his aim is second to none. Um, it looks like the, the horseplay is over a bit. We did see LeBron James go to Kiriko instead of Valari. Yeah, horseplay is over. It's time. They, they let Buffalo have a couple minutes, but it's time to actually take this for, uh, seriously once again. Rosary does end up getting two, but it doesn't look like it'll be enough. Ohio does end up capping the point, but they have to hold this for a lot of time. Thankfully, they do have an alt advantage, at least for now. Uh, we will likely see Pulse Bomb early on in this next fight, and then we will also have... Um, oh... I'm, I'm thinking speed boost. It's not speed boost. <laughs> beat? <laughs> beat drop, beat yes. Beat just get dropped right now. Yeah, so that's from the side of Ohio, but Buffalo will have it as well. And we will see just kind of a disjointed push there from Buffalo. Um, kind of attempting to stay together, but it just doesn't work out. The Torbjorn instantly going down. Mudkip kind of getting put in his grave right there. Fresco uh, getting the credit for that. We do yeah, we got Doom pretty sectioned off for his team for a lot of the fight. Yes, yeah, certainly. And Evil Empire goes down to Crazy Man G as well. Akusora getting a little bit of uh, action in there on JVC. Ohio holding this, thankfully. And it looks like the rest of Buffalo just retreats. They don't want any of the smoke. Uh, they leave instantly. Uh, Ohio's just got to kind of hold this point. Yeah, this fight's probably going to be an ult dump. It's like the last it's the last fight for both of them, and they both got a lot of ult builds up. Yeah, certainly. We see nothing from the Pulse Bomb on the side of a, uh, Buffalo. And we'll see what Ohio does here. Of course, we do see Crazy Man G instantly get two. That's kind of nice. Three, gets three. three. Oh, gets four. four <laughs> possibly gets five. Gets five. He is. ends up with five. Getting the pentakill at the last second to close out this on nice, wonderful flashpoint on... Uh, it's not Saravasa. What is this map? New Junk City. <laughs> New, yes, there we go. Um, you know, the Crazy Man G cam in the bottom right-hand corner there. Doing enough for us. Um, you know, we love Crazy Man G. Um... So, Mo, how do you think that game went? Uh, I think it was interesting to see, you know, having some fun. It was great to see water get put in. Um, and they, you know, they got a little goofy, they had a little bit of fun, and then, you know, it was time to get it together. They got it together. Always nice to see the heroes get their due. Uh, water, the subject of many awesome plays last year. Um, and, you know, getting his, uh, getting his chances uh, this season as well. Um, I think that, you know, overall from tonight, I think we got to see a lot of fun uh, picks. We got to see a lot of fun maps in general. Uh, we got to see, I think, what would we would consider the best Kings Row from Ohio this year. Um, that Kings Row looked unstoppable. I think they've had a full hold but uh, earlier in the season, but that, in my opinion, was better. Um, just constant aggression, constant. Um, they didn't never overextend it, which was kind of interesting. Um, you know? Yeah, even that aggressive Sombra play ended up having a pretty high payoff. Yeah, the aggressive Sombra play kind of let them get about maybe 40, 50 meters on the payload, and it was just almost enough for them to cap right off that. Um, you know, like, they do what they need to do, and, uh, you know, the moment called for it. Of course, already having the lost Miami this season, that was tough, and they don't want anything to happen like that again. They know they just have to work on improving what they can do, and, you know, like, bringing stuff out like that, it's uh, one way to do it. So, you know, always props to those guys back there. They're working hard, and you know, props to the guys in the back. We got uh, we got always. a big crew for production today. Uh, thank you guys so much. If you're ever interested in helping out with production, again, hop in that Discord. Send a message to a couple people. See who knows. Um, 
we always love having people down here. So, you know, if you want to join our team, Discord. Thanks, guys. Um, you know, I think that just about does it for tonight. What do you think, Mo? Yeah, that's about all. That's everything. Yeah, I think so, guys. Uh, thank you so much for spending your evening with us or about 40 minutes. Uh, it's always nice to have you guys. Uh, thanks to PNC. And we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye, guys.